Brought to you by DCP Player version 2, available now. Hello, this is James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of an experiment uh, about how 3D and silver screens work and what the quality issue is with silver screens. This is of a special you know, interest uh, of the French um, have actually stated that if you have got a 3D silver screen that it shouldn't be used for anything but 3D and not for, do, for 2D because uh, silver screen is required for passive based 3D but there is a, a, you know, a, a compromise and if you're going to do 2D why put up with that compromise if you don't have to so they've let, um, legislated that they want to uh, stop doing 2D on a 3D screen with this sort of technology so let's have a quick look of an experiment of why that is the case and so just to explain it very quickly, um, a silver screen, as I've done in some other videos, sort of ref reflects more of the light back towards the audience. But due to that sort of directional characteristics of a sil silver screen, giving you more light and making it brighter, it also means that light is not being dispersed evenly. So in this experiment, I've got my 7D camera here and I'm going to use it to basically set it to a manual mode. So unlike my eyes, which will automatically adjust as I move, looking at the screen, it'll stay constant. So I'm going to just point it at the screen so you see it as it is. Uh, I've set it up so it's quite nice and bright while I'm pointing it at the screen. And you'll see as I move along, I'm going to move along the seats here, that, and I'll, I'll put the video on the screen, and you'll see how, the, how it actually looks as the, if the eye is set at a certain rate, and I move it off, and you'll see how the light conditions and the values change. So let me just get in on that now, and I'll point it at the screen, and I'll uh, start recording. So this is basically sitting in the center of the, of the auditorium, which is where you'd want to sit if you're seeing 3D. So let's have a look at what happens when we keep moving. So I've moved three seats in, another three seats in, and I'll just go in the middle, which is basically another three seats in. Again, another three seats. I can really see the problems out in the side here. Another three. And finally, we'll go to the actual, um, to the edge of the auditorium. And you can see there the, um, power, you know, the, the, the screen is curving off to the side as, as I'm looking at it from the side here. Well, there you go. Now, I'll come back towards the camera so you can see me. So this little, this little experiment, I hope, will demonstrate to you, especially if you're a, uh, an avid cinema goer and like your 3D, of, you know, it's best to try and sit in the center of the cinema or on the center axis of the cinema here, right here. And that'll give you the best um, overall 3D with, you know, it's basically to give you the constant of, of the brightness across the screen and going off to the side or to any greater angle really degrades the quality of passive 3D. Now, silver screen based 3D. So this is why, for example, uh, the Dolby 3D system is considered a high quality system or even the, uh, the active glasses, the heavier um, glasses systems, because they work on uh, generally on a, a, a just a pearl screen or a lower gain screen where the light is is more constant across the screen especially towards the 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 edges but g generally they also use quite a high gain pearl screen so it will also have a degree of this problem that you're seeing in this example today anyway i hope you enjoyed my little experiment and you can uh, use it to to make sure that you sit in the right place in the cinema for your favorite 3d films anyway this is james gardner the cine tech geek bye for now